is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Let's dive in and just see what messages come through for you. And yes, I will be knocking out the personal readings today. Thank you all for the personal reading purchases. Thank you for trusting me with those personal readings as well. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, let's see here. Also, what else? If you're interested in personal readings, check out the description box down below. On the weekends, I normally can get them out either that same day or within 24 hours, no less than 24 hours, okay? Um, now, if it's through the week, it can take 24 to 72 hours. Um, it normally takes about maybe, I just got to get off work, okay? Because <laughs> I work during the day. I work full-time during the day, and then I do YouTube at night. All right, so that's why I be doing a late-night reads. All right, I have to baby girl go to sleep. Let's dive in. All right, what's coming towards Scorpio? That reading I did yesterday, that thing was fat, okay? Fat, fat. All right, let's see. All right, what's coming towards my Scorpios? What's coming towards my Scorpios? What's coming towards my Scorpios? What's coming towards Scorpios, please. Ooh, Page of Swords and the High Priestess. I almost said the word, and bottom of the deck is the lovers. I almost said stalker. <laughs> I don't want to say that. There's somebody that is like, they're trying to get information on you. They really want to communicate, but they're holding back right now. Uh, with the high priestess, they're being very secretive. Okay, it's like they're trying to, they're trying to, they want to come towards you. Okay. They want to come towards you, but it's like, they're they're trying to be patient about it here with this page of swords and hyper it's like somebody's trying to discover a secret about you or something oh they want to put in work eight of pentacles nine of pentacles the sun they want to come towards you put in a lot of work they want to work on this they want to but it's it's saying there needs to be patient patience here they they see you as happiness they see you as somebody that they want to be happy with want to be abundant with some of y'all could be dealing with a gemini Hmm. Okay, Pisces energy. Leo energy. Well, okay, let's see. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on one second. All right, let's keep going. Um, not Pisces. Cancer. Cancer energy. The high priestess is cancer. Um Why is they wanting to come like this? Hmm. Okay, let me see. What's going on? Why, why is this person standing back like this? It's like somebody wants to come towards you, but they're trying to be patient. They may try, maybe trying to get like ideas of how, how to come towards you. So I could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. That's air sign energy too. It's here. What's page of swords towards Scorpio? What's page of swords towards Scorpio? Somebody feels like something's ruined. Or they're trying to figure out if it's ruined. Letter, Yeah, they want to message you. You got the letter. But then you got misfortune with the page of swords. It's like somebody... It's like if you're being protective or against yourself, okay? Somebody is... Or this could be them. Like somebody's trying to be protective against themselves. Because they, they don't want to ruin something or they don't want to mess something up. Somebody feels like they need to hold off, maybe do a little more research, hold back a little bit, be patient with the situation. What's this page of swords? Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. Yeah, somebody feels like something's not adding up or something's not right. Open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Or this could be you. You could be feeling like, nah, I need to find out some more information about this. I don't feel safe about opening up my heart it's like um you know how a person come towards you and then like you feel that uncomfortable energy like mm, something don't feel right i can't really open up to this i can't really open up to this because something don't feel right like that's what i'm getting it's like let me do a little more research on this let me find out a little more about this person or about the situation before i actually give into it what's the high priestess I take the room and scholar. Yeah, somebody could be, you know, trying to research some things in the room, gaining some knowledge. This could be like going online, trying to figure out some information. Like, mm, 
sweetheart yeah and it's this could be about you or about somebody else like about is this person really a sweetheart or are they doing something they don't have no business or it's like some this could be a lot a lot of times people don't understand how mysterious um scorpios are we're very mysterious so somebody's like is this person really this sweet like what's <laughs> what's the deal <laughs> what's going on like how's this person really this sweet now nah, they gotta have something going on Somebody could be secretly watching tarot readings, trying to gain some sort of knowledge and wisdom here, trying to seek the truth about about you. What's the high priestess coming towards Scorpios? The high priestess coming towards Scorpios. Some of y'all dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like, should I? Things are getting serious. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to get serious with you or somebody wants to be in a commitment with you. Or this is what somebody's wanting. And somebody sees you, they're like, man, this is a sweetheart. This is somebody I could really be with. You know, this is somebody that I want. But the, it's like they're trying to do research. Like, how do I how do I come towards this person? Maybe somebody has a choice in love. Or somebody feels like somebody has a choice in love. What's going on? <laughs> somebody wants to come towards you here. Let's see. This could, now, this could also be communication. Somebody wants to have communication. What's Page of Swords coming towards Scorpio? Page of Swords. Come, there is, okay, there could be a situation where somebody's avoiding somebody because they feel like investing in it, and especially until they get more information, they feel like investing into this or this person will cause like a misfortune, will cause a tower moment. And it's because somebody's intuition is like, mm, use discernment, use discernment about this situation or this person. Let's see, what's the page of swords? Coffin, endings, bring new beginnings, grow, change, liberation, transition. Yeah, it's like somebody's trying to go through a transition right now. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. And the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look off your shoulder, the other woman. All right, for example, say you were in a codependent relationship before, right? You were in a connection with a person. You really cared about them. You loved them. It was codependent though, okay? And then come to find out, this person was like getting attention or this is, or this could be this person. They were, they were needing to get attention from like other people or validation from other people. Like that's the codependency. Like you can be in a relationship with a person, but you still seek attention outside of that connection and outside of that relationship. That's some sort of, you know, codependency that need to be healed. Okay. It's a blockage that keeps you from having a new beginning because how can you focus on one person when you constantly need validation from other people? I don't trust me personally. I don't trust stuff like that. Okay. Because you shouldn't have to seek attention outside of me in order to make yourself feel good. Like, I should make you feel good enough. You know, if, if I'm doing my part and I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I, you know, then you should, the only attention you need is supposed to be from me, right? And then when I, if I lack in that, you're supposed to love yourself enough to be like, you know what, let me love on myself, pay attention to myself. Not necessarily be like, you know what, I need to go seek for validation out here. No, that's what causes cheating. That's what causes all this other stuff. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to communicate about that. Like, hey, you know, I feel like, you know, you're not. I mean, you're not supposed to be up under each other 24-7 or nothing like that. But somebody feels like there's another person, okay? And somebody's listening to their intuition. They're like, no, nah, I don't really want this new beginning. So somebody could be like, you know what? Let me just move on from this because I feel like this is going to be a disaster. So somebody could be trying to avoid something because they feel like it's a disaster. What's the high priestess? What's the high priestess for Scorpio? What's the high priestess for Scorpio? What's the high priestess for my Scorpio? Yeah, see, not enough. Frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. And seduction. Look, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. There could be a third party here. And the third party could be anything. It could be, oh, I like to go to Facebook and seek for attention. Or, oh, I like to flirt with the people I'm at work with. Or, oh, I like to... Which, you know, even even when you're secure with yourself, you don't like you don't want your person out there flirting and 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 getting seeking attention from everybody else that make you look bad. You know what I'm saying? That's like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to show love, but there's there's some something, a third party interference, some sort of temptation, you know. Even like even if you put say you put in information out there like you know and i'm not saying that you insecure 
or anything like that. But say you're putting information out there like, hey, look at my body. Oh, I just need somebody that I need to lay with. And you're supposed to be like being in a relationship with somebody else. You're like, well, why are you why are you putting that on Facebook? If you really want to be with me, why are you seeking outside validation? You know what I'm saying? That means that you you need attention. And I'm not, I don't mean a harm. We grown. Okay. My kids need attention. And they throw hissy fits and stuff like that, thinking they're gonna get attention. I'm I'm not gonna deal with an adult like that. Like you gotta be secure with yourself to know, you know, I don't need validation from nobody else. I get validation at home. That's what I need. Woo woo woo. Or this is like because that could be like an ego thing. You you constantly need your ego to be stroked, you know what I'm saying, by other people. I don't like that. That That's what causes jealousy because then you get to flirt with somebody else. Yeah, I may be secure with myself. And I'm like, you know what? It don't bother me. It just, what's the point of that? Like, that's, when we, we are not grown folks. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a person that always has to seek for validation outside of me. Like, that, you need to heal because that's how I feel. You need to heal. But it's like, that that's how you self sabotage because you're like okay well they're not giving me enough attention let me go out here and seek it from somebody else that's self sabotage when you're frustrated in a relationship instead of communicating you go out and and, and speak to somebody else you telling somebody else your business self sabotage um the lack of confidence for you to say okay my person's not giving me enough attention Okay, I don't love myself enough to be like, you know, let me just spend some time with myself. Instead, I need to go seek it from somebody else. That's lack of confidence. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I know people are going to flirt with you. I know people are going to want to give you attention. You're an attractive person, whatever, whatever. But it's like, and I'm just speaking as a Scorpio. But like, why why even put that energy out there to even you know you see what i'm saying because now you flirt with somebody they thinking like okay i'm gonna get with this person and then they end up not getting with you now they jealous because they find out you with a person they're like well hold up you were flirting with me and then it starts some drama and it's, it's unnecessary you see what i'm saying it's like i don't know yeah <laughs> i don't know Woo. yeah mm -mm. Mass, not showing true feelings, high personified, pretend to lose gaslighting. See, gaslighting starts happening. Somebody don't want to show their true feelings. And this could just be somebody's just a little insecure. They don't feel good enough or something like that. Because that outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, it's like... Mm -mm. Somebody, somebody's... I think somebody just need to grow up a little bit. That's all. Somebody maybe needs to grow up a little bit or mature a little bit. I mean, even like, say say you work in a business, right? And you take pictures of people in lingerie, right? I understand that. Okay, I know you take pictures of women in lingerie. That's cool. That's your job. You love it. I'm glad for you. Hell, I'm be there. Hey, 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 you know, whatever. Okay. But when you get it to, get to the point where you start flirting with them and like, you're like, yeah, da, 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 this, I need this, my, my D this or my P this, and you start talking like that, then you taking it too far. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just be like, I ain't even in no relationship. It's it's a difference. I don't know. And somebody needs to, I don't know. It just, oh gosh. I don't know. I don't know what the heck is going on here. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. It's like somebody trying to gaslight somebody to like be jealous or to be insecure, but it's not happening. I don't know. Y'all, what am I? <laughs> This is crazy. Let's see. What's the tea on this real quick? Somebody trying to gas. Like, and it's not doing nothing but like destroying something. Because a, per, like, a person that loves themselves enough. Like I know. Okay. If I'm if I'm going to be with somebody. I'm going to be with them. Yeah. I know people going to flirt with me. Or people going to try to get my attention. That's cool and all. But I'm not fin about to. I was about to say finna y'all. My country accent. I'm sorry. I'm not fixing to add fuel to the fire. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm not about to be like. Oh. Uh, somebody flirts with me. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, no, I'm single. You know, I got a boyfriend, but that, they don't mean that. I'm not going to be doing all that. No, I'm taking, you know, well, nice. Oh, I, I appreciate that, but, you know, I'm not interested. I got somebody. You know, it's cool. But when you start, like, seeking for validation and seeking for attention, then that means you need to love on yourself a little more. You know, that, that's, a, that's an unattractive trait. I don't know. And I'm, t I'm saying it because I used to be in that energy. Like, when I was younger, I used to be like, oh, I can get on Facebook and get attention and all this and all that. But then you look back and get cringe because you're like, dang, I used to do that? Dang. Ugh, I needed attention that bad? Yeah. You know how the, the little memories pop up. You'd be like, oh, 
I did that. Oh. <laughs> What's the page of swords with the misfortune? What's that page of swords with the misfortune? What's the T on that for Scorpio? Page of swords with the misfortune. Yeah, somebody, okay. So, yeah, so somebody could be ghosting somebody because somebody feels like it's just, it's too risky. Ghosted, disappearing, ghosting in and out. Or somebody could have been, like, this could even be a person, right? They caused a tower moment because they was in and out. They were inconsistent. Like, they'll be around one minute and then they ghost you. And then they're like, okay, well, let me come back. All right, now, let me come back and now we could try something again. Or they're just in and out. This is like flaky energy. You can't build something on flaky energy. That's like trying to build a, you trying to build a tower or you trying to build a house and you're like, oh, I'm going to work on it today. Okay. But I ain't going to work on it the next three, four days. And then it starts raining and then it, the, 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 the wood gets messed up. It gets wet. It gets, you know, it gets all, what's it called? Wet and um, puffy looking. I don't know what the name is. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. And then you're like, okay, let me go work on it again. And you go work on it again. And then you work on it for a few days. It's going to take forever forever so somebody feels like yeah i need to just dodge this dodging bullets blocking negativity scraping pay crazy people protected by haters it's like i need to just dodge this and kind of move away from this yeah and you're just showing up unfazed because it's like i mean this is this is destruction here this is i might as well throw myself out the window out the window when it comes to this page of swords not literally not literally what's page of swords with the tower yeah same shit just a different day and you could even talk to this person about this like, you could tell this person, like, yo, you know, uninterested. what I tell you? You could have been like, hey, look, I don't like that in and out inconsistent stuff, you know. I'm not into that. You know, I like consistency in my life. I like consistency in my life. I don't like that type of energy. Me, personally, I don't like flaky energy. If you in and out and it's inconsistent, we talk one day and then we don't talk for three, four, five days and then we talk again. I don't like that. That right there shows me, okay, you not interested in me because... We, I mean, I know we busy and stuff like that, but it don't take nothing but five minutes or two minutes to send a text. You see what I'm saying? If a person that's interested in you, they try. They don't care how busy their schedule is. They will send a text no matter if it's early in the morning or late at night. Because it's one of two things. They're going to wake up with you on their mind and they go, or they're going to go to sleep with you on their mind. Either or. I'm just saying. Reflecting, player, happiness, hater. Now somebody's reflecting back how they was in and out inconsistent. They don't want you to be with nobody else. Now they like, I better not see this person with nobody else. But it's because you know, became uninterested because it, something was flaky. Like just somebody kept ghosting you, kept being in and out, kept being inconsistent. Like, man, honey, I'm good. It's too much. Too much. What's the high priestess? Now somebody trying to find out if you if you're not accepting an offer from another person. Child. Who you giving your time to? An offer. We have an offer. We have player. And we have given money. Now somebody trying to figure out, okay, is this person giving somebody else their time, their energy, their effort, legal issues? This is justice. And this could be the justice card. It don't have to be like legal issues. I mean, somebody could be going through legality problems too. But now somebody's like, now somebody feel lonely. They could be tripping out, talking shit. Yeah, but it's because they feel like they either wasted their time or they feel like, okay, I know I wasted my time with this person. Because now this person focused on this. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't come in and be in and out and flaky with a person and then be like, well, well, I don't know why this person don't want to talk to me. You were in and out and flaky. You made it unstable. Now somebody's like, I'm not going to walk on. You made a bridge unstable and non-trustworthy with your in and out energy. Who in their right mind going to say, okay, yeah, I'm going to walk across this again? No. So now somebody feeling lonely because you you not talking to them or... Are you not communicating? Are you being secretive now? You keeping to yourself? Now somebody tripping out on you, talking shit. They like, oh, you wasted my time. Boop, 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 boop. But they were the one in and out, inconsistent. They feel like you done chose somebody else. Are you focusing on yourself now? But it's because somebody took advantage of a sweetheart. That's all that is. It's like you, you're such a sweet person. You were like, oh, it's okay. You know, I understand you're busy, blah, 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 blah. Right? And then they do it again. Okay, I understand. I get it. You're busy. Da, 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 da. I've never been in that position before. I'm like, I understand you're busy. You know, yeah, I understand. You know, but then the sermon kicked in and was like, no, something else to this. You you in and out. You inconsistent for another reason. Now I'm looking at this as unstable because you keep doing it. It's unstable. I'm not interested. I don't want to deal with it. You can keep it pushing. Now I'm being secretive. I'm to myself. I'm doing my own thing. Focus on my bag. Focus on my money. Focus on what I want to give to because... 
this isn't something I can trust. That's what it looked like. Yeah, some yeah, too busy winning and legal issues. Some of y'all, if you do got some sort of legal, what's the giving money? This is justice, though. I mean, this is fair. Rejected. Look, yeah, I'm not giving to you anymore. Grudge right now. Somebody got a grudge. Ciao. Now they stalking, watching as you hustling, making money, doing your thing. It's like, what? You were a sweetheart at first, but somebody caused misfortune in your life. And now it's like with this high priestess energy, you could be very secretive. I mean, you got to think about it. Scorpios, a lot of people don't know what goes on in Scorpios' lives because we kind of keep to ourselves. We don't like everybody in our business. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to be careful of who you date or who you're interacting with because you don't want people putting all your business out there and, and all that stuff. I don't like that. I'm a very secretive person. I'm very low-key. Most times, yes, I'll tell y'all things, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, the stuff that's going on in my life, I keep to myself. Hell, I hit a whole pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? I hit a whole pregnancy. So it's like, it's like, and when I pop out, it's like, boom, you know? That's the type of person I am. I just, I don't like, because you got to, when you're in this type of high vibrational energy, you have to protect your energy because people will send you negative energy, like, I mean, I'm telling you, when some people found out I was pregnant, like, it was the worst experience of my life because it was, like, negative energy. Like, oh, my God, again? That's your third child? Oh, my God, you got a second baby daddy? Oh, I mean, honey, it was all kind of stuff. And I was like, see, this is why I keep shit to myself, okay? This is why I keep shit to myself, okay? Yes, I have a third child. Yes, I have two baby daddies, okay? Yes. But unfortunately, I mean, life happens, okay? <laughs> life happens, I wasn't planning a little Miss uh, Snow, but she was like, now I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> she was a blessing. And that's how I look at it. And so what happens is like when people feel like they need to like go out there and like seek attention and stuff like that. And then they on the outside and they don't realize what's going on in your life no more. They feel lonely because they like, well, dang, Scorpio ain't telling me what's going on. Now they feel insecure. Now they feel a lack of confidence, but it's because of whatever in and out energy they did. Whatever this was. I don't know what they did. Now somebody feels like, oh, well, yeah, look, confess. Some, someone has to tell you something. Somebody trying to manifest you. But see, somebody, see, that's what it is. Somebody tried to do a love spell on you. Like with that in and out energy. They tried to do a love spell on you thinking it was going to bring you closer. Now they're trying to manifest you. Manifest having a conversation with you. They want to confess something. Oh, I really want to be with you. But that's not how they was acting. They were in and out inconsistent. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to leave there because I'm not, dang, 22 minutes. Okay, I'm going to leave there. I'm going to do another read. Hope this brings you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.